Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Storybook Farm in Stardew Valley. It's a rainy day. We're just going to check the television, and then I think it's going to be down the mines. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you see hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Glad to hear that, Wellwick. Our weather tomorrow... A beautiful sunny day. We definitely will need our watering can back. And Farmer Greenbean, welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Fruit trees. They take an entire season to grow, so plan ahead. If the area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with growth. Once your fruit trees mature, it'll produce delicious fruit for you every day while in season. Better start saving up. We have so many things to save up for right now. We need to save up for fruit trees. We need to save up for a coop. We need to save up for um, upgrading our additional tools. Why am I getting five of those? I don't need five of those. I only need three. And very important, we need to save up for summer seeds because summer is right around the corner and we want to be able to plant a generous garden for summer. I don't think I am ever going to get to selling those, to eating those spring onions. I'm going to sell them. Put away the trash. And did I see mature kale? No, not, not quite. Tomorrow. Tomorrow the kale will be ready. I am not going to wait for Clint to open. I am, however, going to take stone for building ladders with me. And geodes, because why not? And is it somebody's birthday today? I believe that it is Pierre's birthday. And I don't think that we can get anything that Pierre will love yet. We don't have access to rabbit's feet or prismatic shards, both of which are loved by all villagers but one. I see you there, you hidden leek. And we don't have a kitchen, so we can't cook anything for him. And I don't remember what his loved meal is anyway, although I'm fairly sure he does have one. I think that there is at least one food that is loved by almost all the villagers. So I think we're going to be giving Pierre a daffodil. And my hope is that we can get down five levels of the mines before Clint closes, go open our geodes, give Pierre a birthday present, and get our watering can back. And then depending on what time it is, we may try to go further down into the mines. I did not mean to put those rocks away, however. I want them in case we need to craft a ladder. Neither do I mean to go down into the mines wielding a scythe instead of my steel small sword. That would be a bad plan. We will not be doing that. I'm going to go ahead and craft an emergency ladder before we start. I think that having it may potentially make it less likely that I end up using it. I know there's absolutely no logic behind that, but it's just one of those little, little superstitious things that being prepared means you won't need what you prepared for. I do like the fact that we are breaking rocks so much more quickly than we used to with our old axe, our old pickaxe. Killing things more quickly too. Ladder number one. Slime number two. He was rather in the way. We had to kill him, had no choice. Oh, 
Oh, come back here, you silly rock. I'm really feeling a little bit unlucky. Usually at this point in the game, and by this point in the game, I don't just mean by late spring. I also mean by the time I am down below level 20 in the mines, I have managed to pick up a magnet ring or a light ring or both. And this time I have neither. I am in the dark and I still have to go and follow things to pick them up. Meanwhile, my 12-year-old started a new Stardew Valley save after seeing me play and has already gotten a Neptune's Glaive sword from a fishing chest and has both rings and all kinds of other delightful things and he is not even at the end of spring yet. The random number generator game and its peculiarities. I hear you, bug. Are you going to come? Do not want to break rocks with bugs flying around my head. Two more levels. And we need to get those two more levels fairly quickly because I would like to get to Clint's before he closes, and he does close at four. However, if we need to use the emergency ladder to get down, we can. I am going to go ahead and use the ladder. Well, I'm going to break one more rock just to get to this um, copper, and then I'm going to use the ladder because I need to get to Clint's. So we've opened another elevator. Just going to drop off a few things here. Um, leave the rock. Leave the torches. Leave the sword in case we don't come back. I, I may come back. It really is going to depend on how long we spend in town, what we do down there, whether we come back and try to get another five levels or not. That looks acceptable. Leave a little bit more inventory room for ourselves. Oh, and let's go ahead and turn the bug meat into bait right now. Because then we have another inventory slot available for other things. Yeah, just double checking that we didn't have any quests I'd forgotten about. So we're going to go as quickly as possible down to Clint's. Then we'll stop in and give Pierre a birthday present after checking the calendar and making sure I'm right about it being his birthday. I think I am. And then at that point, I'll either go back to the mines and see if we can't get another five levels down. Hi, Abigail. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? <gasps> I seriously love this. You're the best tail spinner. You're welcome. Now, if talking to you and giving you a gift makes me miss Clint, I will be a little annoyed. But I don't think that we're going to miss Clint. I think we're going to make it. We received a copper watering can, and I am so pleased about that. Now let's process these geodes. Oh my goodness, we have so many. I should have left more inventory space. May not be able to get them all. I just got some iridium ore which I won't be able to do anything with for quite a long time, since I don't expect to get enough to smelt a bar with for quite a long time. See whether we can manage to break the rest of these without... Yeah, okay, so we're out of inventory space now. So I'm going to show you a quick trick here. We have not given the hematite to Gunther yet. We have already given the slate to Gunther, and we've already given the calcite to Gunther, and we've already given topaz and thunder egg to Gunther. So these are all things that we... Oh, we haven't given Gunther any quartz yet. I'm kind of surprised at that. All right, so these are all things that we can sell back to Clint 
we just click on shop and then I'm going to sell one of the quartz, all of the topaz, the thunder egg, the calcite, and the slate. How much does, I'm not going to sell the iridium ore. That is too precious. Now that we've done that, I can go back to processing geodes with three empty inventory slots and I should be able, oh wow, we have got six coal. We almost have enough to make another preserve jar. And another five, excellent. I'm gonna check quickly. Um, malachite is also something that we have already given to Gunther. Sandstone is not. So we have several new minerals for Gunther. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the malachite back. And then let's go around the counter and say hello to Clint. Business has been slow lately. After I just broke all those geodes? Really? You should upgrade your tools. I could use the cash. I just paid you 2,000 gold for a copper watering can two days ago. Well, three days ago if you count the festival. I don't know what you're complaining about. Let's see what our new reward is from Gunther. A night on Echo Hill. We are going to take the painting to put in our house because I like it. We have less than an hour to get up to Pierre's before his shop will close. However, his door does not close when his shop closes. So it's not quite as urgent as it is for Clint and Harvey. Harvey um, locks the clinic at three o'clock and Clint locks the um, blacksmith shop at four o'clock. It's not good weather for sports. Oh, well, I can always lift weights inside. That's the spirit, Alex. All right, check the calendar. I'm glad I checked. It is not Pierre's birthday yet. Pierre's birthday is tomorrow. I really would like to have a calendar in my house. Okay, Pierre's birthday and then Emily's birthday. And I'm kind of glad that I was paying enough attention to birthdays that I remembered that Pierre's birthday was soon. But I'm kind of wishing I'd stayed in the mines there, honestly. We could have gotten the watering can tomorrow before watering our crops. I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? You're making a habit of doing this, apparently. Harvey hasn't come in yet. Hi, Lewis. Good evening, Tailspinner. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer tonight in his honor. Very kind of you, Lewis. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> oh, Pam. Hi, Gus. Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. Hi, Emily. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. I came in here looking for Harvey because the clinic is already closed and I know that he does come into the saloon on rainy days. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. I've been eating lots of salmon berries. I'm not going to wait around for him. I'm going to head back up. Well... At this point, by the time I get up to the mines, the chances of getting another five levels are slim. I really want to make progress, though. I am torn. I am also missing the bubbles that are right over there. And starting to feel exhausted. <laughs> I think that I'm going to fish rather than mine because I don't feel confident about being able to get down another five levels. And that being the case, I think that it would be better to earn a bit more cash for the various things we need cash for. I really do need to hit the iron levels as quickly as I possibly can though, and then down to the gold levels. There just isn't enough time in the day to do everything that you wanna do in this game. 
I won't be able to make good sprinklers until I get the gold levels. I won't be able to make several other things that I want to make until I hit the iron levels. So mining progress is really going to be driving other progress. But I don't want to just mine and neglect all of the other things that are part of this game. I'm not casting quite far enough to hit the bubbles. I'm getting behind them and I, I do want to get the bubbles because between the bubbles and the the bubbles and the bait, we are doing a much better job of getting fish quickly, which both earns us more money and makes things more interesting. <laughs> that is like the worst thing that you can get in a treasure chest is bait. I, we're not hurting for bait. We have almost 400 on the rod right now. Such is life. My kid gets Neptune's glaive and diamonds and elvish jewelry in his fishing treasure chests that he's not recording, and I get bait because I'm recording. The game knows that I'm recording and it's giving me things that I don't want. I know that's not really true. The thing with the catfish is that if you don't get on them right away, you're, you just lose them. You have to be ready as soon as they leap up. Because once that bar starts to go down, there's little chance of recovering. <sighs> yeah, I'm starting to wonder whether I will have a catfish this spring. That may need to wait for a later season when my fishing has leveled up further than it has at the moment. Because following those catfish around does not appear to be something I am very good at at the moment. To be fair, though, I have improved so much at fishing since the days when I would be begging my more nimble-fingered children to come and help me with it because I couldn't catch anything except a carp. I think my first game, I leveled up my fishing almost to level 10 just with crab pots, and then I could catch more than just a carp. We did it. We got our first catfish. Silver Star Catfish. I have full inventory, so I'm going to put the broken CD and the rock into the chest here. Also, the um, not the fish, the leeks is what I was going for there. The leeks and the horseradish. That just frees up a bit of inventory space for us to continue fishing a little bit longer. Now that I've got one catfish... I'm going to continue to try to fish and see if I can't lose more catfish. They're not all equally easy <laughs> or equally difficult for that matter. But more money. Oh, are you going to be kind and let me get the treasure chest and the fish at the same time? Yes, I love it when fish do that. It just makes life so much easier. I am delighted with this. Delighted. I am also a little bit conflicted. I'm not sure whether to use our very first iron bar for the bundle in the community center, 
which is highly tempting, or to use it to make a recycle machine. We will be getting more iron bars, inevitably, before very long. Making it down to the iron levels of the mines is a question of when, not if. I think that I am actually going to use it for the blacksmith's bundle. Because between the gold bar from the trash can and the iron from the fishing chest, there is a decent chance that if we are lucky and get a fire quartz, which is something that generally doesn't appear until the gold levels of the mines, but if we get a fire quartz from a geode, and we've had several Omni geodes that have shown up already, so it's not, not outside the realm of possibility. Um, may even be something that we can get from a trash can. I'm not certain about that. But if we get a fire quartz before we hit the gold levels, then we'll be able to open the mine carts much earlier than we otherwise could, and that is very much worth doing. I'm willing to wait for the recycling machine until we legitimately hit the iron levels of the mines. That fish was just too fast in changing directions. I think this is going to be the last cast. Not a catfish. All right, let's switch back to our scythe so that it is impossible for us to accidentally use any more energy when we're already starting to get exhausted. Is there anything in here that I need to bring home with me? Not really. Not really. All right, off we go. I'm going to put the iron ore in my quick bar though so that we can put that directly into the furnace as soon as we get back. And then we'll have an iron bar waiting for us in the morning. We have enough coal to make another preserve jar too, which is going to be wonderful. We are really urgently in need of more money right now. We want to upgrade tools. We want to build a chicken coop. We want to buy summer seeds. And money is the key to all of those things that we need to do. So we need wood. Did we leave all our stone in the mine, seriously? I guess we're not building another preserve jar tonight then because we do not have time to go up to the mine and retrieve our stone for that purpose and come back again. Oh well. I think I am going to put a few more torches down and around though quickly before bed. It's just... so dark around my farm. And I noticed that one of my tree tappers was ready to collect, so I'll grab that as well. I know, I know, it's getting late. Put the torches away, put the oak resin away, put the cave carrots away, and sell all of these fish and the algae. No need to hang on to any more algae than I already have. Let's move things around a little bit in here. Put up this painting. Move that one over. That looks good. Uh, no, I'm not going to go to sleep yet because Arhu is not indoors. Magic teleporting cat, please return. Thank you. Good night, Arhu. And now I will go to sleep for the night. Our mining has leveled up. I think I had noticed that we were mining better down there. We made 200 from all those spring onions. 937 from fishing, almost 1,000. 15 from the green algae. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a, a race to have enough money for all the things we want to do over the next few days in Stardew Valley. Thank you for joining me for this one. Have a wonderful day, everyone.